Our next lesson is on variability. Variability describes how spread out a data set is. This includes the range, which is how wide the data set is. We get that by subtracting the smallest value from the largest value. It includes the quartiles, which are used to split a data set into four equal parts. The median, which we did last lesson, is a special quartile. The interquartile range, which is the difference, the subtraction of the first and third quartiles. That'll make more sense when we get to it. And the box and whisker plot, which is a graphic representation of the measures of variability. Find the range, quartiles, and interquartile range for each data set. And, yep, we've got two of these. So, first thing we have to do is put this in order. Okay, anytime you're given a list of numbers, step one is put it in order. So, let's see, smallest number here looks like 78. Then, I've got the 85. Then, I've got two 88s. An 89, 90, and a 92. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Very good. Okay. So range is just high number minus low number. So 92 take away 78 is 14. When we find the quartiles, we're going to find the first and the third quartile. But to do so, we need the median. So the median is the number in the middle. Here, it's that 88. The median splits the data set in half. There should be an equal number of numbers below and above. Below that 88 I just highlighted, there's a 78, an 85, and another 88. That's three numbers. And above it are an 89, 90, and 92. That's three numbers. So three on each side, uh, that's good. The next thing we need after we do this is to say, okay, in the bottom group of numbers, 78, 85, and 88, which number is in the middle? Now it's the 85. That is the first quartile. Ask the same question. In the top group, what number is in the middle of those three numbers? Well, that's the 90. That makes that number the third quartile. That's how we find quartiles. We are asked to find the interquartile range. That is third quartile minus first quartile, 90 minus 85. So that's five. Nothing too crazy here. This next set has a lot of numbers, but that doesn't make this any more difficult. So that's it. the smallest number is 12. I don't see any 13s. There is one 14. I don't think I'm going to highlight these as I go, actually. There are one, two, three 15s. There one, just one 16. We've got one, two, three 17s. There is 118, 119, and 120. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so time for a trick. With 12 numbers, 12 divided by 2 is 6. 
since there are 12 numbers here, an even number, there are going to be two numbers in the middle of my data set. They will be the sixth and seventh numbers, respectively. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That means my median is right here. It's between the sixth and seventh number. That'll be important in a minute. First, I should probably do the range, get it out of the way. High is 20, low is 12, 20 take away 12 is 8. We'll do first and third quartiles, but first we have to have the median. The median is between 16 and 17. I think by now we can all probably, without a calculator, say, hey, in between 16 and 17, the numbers right beside each other, the middle is 16.5. This median is not a number in the data set, and that's okay. It doesn't have to be. The point is, where that 16.5 is between 16 and 17, there are six numbers below it and six numbers above it. And that's what we need from a median. We need the same number of numbers below and above. So this time, when I do my quartiles, I have to do the same thing I just did for the median. Because there's an even number of numbers. So if there's six numbers, the median will be, the median will be between the third and the fourth. Or sorry, the quartile. So for my lower quartile, it's between 15 and 15. Well, there's nothing between 15 and 15, except for 15 itself. So the first quartile is 15. For the upper half, again, when I look at those six numbers on the top, the third quartile between the third and fourth numbers at the top, which is there. That is between 17 and 18. What's between 17 and 18? 17 and a half. The inner quartile range then is 17 and a half minus 15, which is two and a half. And last, use this data set to make a box and whisker plot. So I already put this data set in order. What we need to do is figure out the low number, the high number, the median, the first, and the third quartiles. So, two of those things we already know. There's our high and our low. Now, let's count the number of numbers. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 numbers. 17 divided by 2 is 8.5. That means the ninth number in this set will be the median. We round up. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I'm saying 40 is the median. How do we check that? Count how many numbers are on each side of it. Below 40, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 numbers. Above 40, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 numbers. That means we did it right. Now, for those eight numbers below 40, the first quartile, eight divided by two is four, will be in between the fourth and fifth numbers. So one, two, three, four. It's right here. So what's between 21 and 21? 21. And the third quartile will be between the fourth and fifth numbers of the top set. One, two, three, four. So it's here. What's between 48 and 49? 48.5. All right. To make a box and whisker plot, we need a number line. On that number line, I'm going to put those five highlighted numbers. The lowest number, 
the first quartile, the median, the third quartile, and the highest number. Above the low and high numbers, I'm going to put dots. Above the three numbers in the middle, the two quartiles in the median, I'm going to put bars. I will connect the tops and bottoms of the bars to make our box and attach the dots with whiskers. There you go, a box and whisker plot. It is made up of five numbers. The lowest number, the first quartile, the median, the third quartile, and the high number.